welcome back to Real People, Real Life. Boston, tell us about our guest. Well, we have wonderful artists and more to come. It's a day full of fun. And um, we had Jessica... I mean, I'm sorry, Addie. Uh, oh, I, I thought Jessica. that was Addie. What, we got, Jessica. Change? We had Addie wow. earlier, um, and as she was on earlier, she had drawn a picture. She teaches art, and so I kind of wanted her to tell us a little bit about how uh, it unfolds, you know, drawing a portrait. Okay, so this is the one that I did of uh, uh, like me. Miss Fossa here. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and what I wanted to show you guys was just that you, you see the red, and I always start my portraits the same way, and I always start with that oval shape, the basic shape of your drawing, uh, and that just helps me in general with my composition and how I'm going to fit it on the paper. Um, I do these portraits for gigs, and uh, I've even just set up on the street corner. That was actually how I met Keith and Robin. Was uh, I just kind of walked into Karmic Connections one day and said, "Hey, can I just sit out on your front step and draw people?" <laughs> 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 you know, and they were like, "Yeah, sure, why not?" And so I just do five dollar, five minute portraits out there, and I just whip them up really, really quick, like I did this one. And um, but I always have to start with that kind of basic shape and the line. The, the crosshairs that go across and help me balance the, the shape of the face. So um, I had a couple, like even this one is just a little, like I started out and I never finished it, but it still shows how I did the, the oval oh, yes. first and then the lines across to where for the eyes, because the eyes are halfway from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin, which is a common misconception. I don't know why, but, <laughs> and then I have some finished portraits that I've done in charcoal rather than those Sharpies, which mm -hmm. They're okay, but now does, you know. Does USD 259 support the arts fairly well? Um, I like to think so, yeah, actually. Uh, I know that... One of our guests before, Liesl Wright, is, right, a, is a teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. East High yeah. School. Yeah, really? I, I live East. I went to East. I did too. Class of 65. <laughs> yeah. Well, mine's not 65, but that's cool. <laughs> I'm a Blue Aces too. Really? So you say you teach it, not just at the school, but where else? At City Arts. I teach figures and portraits there as well. So the portraits that you see here and also some of the figure drawing that you saw in my uh, in my, my pinups and, yeah. and, and my artwork. Yeah. I, I just, that's kind of where my niche is and I really enjoy teaching it, so. So tell me, how can somebody get a hold of you to take one of your classes? Well, you can find me on Facebook, Addie's Art, and you can also find uh, just email me, Adelia Levy, Adelia Levy at gmail .com. And um, other than that, I mean, call City Arts, and they're a wealth of information about just community arts and everything that there is in Wichita for the art world. You said you draw figures. Yeah. So if I put you in my bank account, you're going to draw figures? I haven't figured out those figures yet. Those trying are trying to draw figures, those kind man. of figures. They're tricky figures. Yeah. I can draw stick figures. <laughs> yeah. Can you? Yeah, That's right. how you start it, though. And so I, I understand you know our other guest, Crystal See, I can Moody. Draw digits. You guys have they, met they before. Me yes. At the <laughs> Lady, what? Our Lady Show. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And it was just a whole uh, communal of Female artists all came together. Okay. Patriotic kind of show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was very. And and Crystal, you're here with us today, and I see you brought a bunch of your art. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, my name is Crystal Moody, born and raised in Wichita. I began my art education at a very early age. At the age of eight, I started taking uh, sculpting lessons from Babs Malore. She's a local well-known artist. Um, continued my education on, went to Northeast Magnet. You asked about USC 259, being mm -hmm. interested in the art programs, uh, the Northeast Magnet. That is a program that's quite interested in fostering the arts, so that really helped further my talent. Then I went to Butler Community College and graduated back in 07 and just kind of been doing it here and there and really picked up with it here lately. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now if somebody, your work is commissioned, correct? Mm -hmm. Now if somebody wanted to get a hold of you and, and see your work, because we're going to show everybody some of your, your art, mm -hmm. but uh, if somebody wanted to get a hold of you and purchase one of these, how would they go about that? Uh, well, currently if you want to get straight contact with me, I'd go to Crystal Moody's Art, Facebook.com, and I check that daily. If you would like to go into a store, perhaps, and see some of my art displayed, you can find it at Vape LLC off Douglas and uh, Rock Road, right by Town East for our East Siders. For the West Siders, we have Ace of Vapes right off Kellogg and Ridge, and um, I also have a few paintings up in the Candle Club. So that's nice. Oh, the Candle Club by 38 yes. to Woodlawn. Yes. 
very good. It's a so tell me, you know how I came across you is I've seen your art that you've displayed on Facebook because we're friends, but you were asking for artists. Yes, I was asking for models. Uh, um, yeah, for models for your work. I was actually contacted by an author, Buffalo Latham, Latham, and he's putting together a show in Burbank, California. So I was kind of wanting to get, you know, some local inspiration because there's, you know, there's a lot of wonderful town around here. And I see some, some of your all's pictures on Facebook that I'd absolutely love to do. So I just simply put it out there and I said, hey, if anybody would like to send me, you know, a pic that looks inspirational, let me do it. Send it to me. And I have had quite a bit of response. I did. I seen that bit. turnout. That was wonderful. So, yeah, so, so it, are you still in, in it for the pictures? Like, you want people to still send you pictures? Absolutely. So they can go Absolutely. to Crystal Moody's yes. Art? Yes, it doesn't matter. Young, on Facebook. old, skinny, big, small, whatever. If you have something that you feel is inspiring and shows kind of like a true gritty side of life, I would love to see it so I can therefore recreate it and bring it to California, Burbank, California, and show them what we're all about and what we're representing down here because Wichita has immense talent that comes from here. They right. really do. That's what makes yeah. means the level of professionalism and art appreciation. There's a lot of galleries and Final Friday, of course, is an mm -hmm. excellent opportunity. Go to the Go Guide, look at your schedules and go out and see a lot of really good local art, whether it be paintings, photography, music. sculpture, music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I try to so, tell my kids that all the time. I, I pump up fr Final Fridays and it's just, I mean, you can go around the corner and there's a, an art gallery. So it's just, it's always around you and you should always, you know, you don't have to really seek it out, but you should right there. appreciate now, course, it. Our Wichita right. Art Museum is an um, excellent facility on Saturday afternoons. It's mm -hmm. free. So it's a good opportunity to see some art. Is it free? Yeah. Absolutely. On Saturdays it's free. Where is it at? Which the Art Museum over by Museum Oh, Rome. really? It's yeah. free. That's by, awesome. Uh, See, these things, Riverside. you know, you don't know. You, you want to know what to do with your kids? Go to the Art Museum. Absolutely. Okay, well, um, Crystal, uh, you know, a lot of people, I say support your local artists and everything, but a lot of people think, like, art is expensive. But, of course, you know, it's it's really not that expensive. Like, one piece it's of really art not. is it's not going to be thousands of dollars like people think it would be. Well, not yet, but down the road. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. <laughs> and well, after people, people are going out, they're, they're easily dropping $150 on a pair of shoes, and it's like you can have a piece of art that's going to last you 20 years. You can pass down to your children, and it can be original. Mm -hmm. And I also have different, like with my art, if you would like an original, that's going to cost you a couple hundred. But I will give you a print for the same price. You will not, it'll be yeah. framed. You won't even know. Well, it's not the same price, but the same size. Right. So you mm -hmm. won't even know it's different or anything, but it's be make it affordable. When you say a print. Now, do you do numbered prints? Then? Yes, mm -hmm. I do numbers. Currently, um, I have a debut series mm -hmm. called The First 14 that I am coming out with. So I'm going to do mm -hmm. 14 prints of each of the 14 prints. We're only going to create, or the 14 pieces, we're only going to create 14 prints. Oh. And this, I went with the number 14 because I was born on the 14th. My parents were married on the 14th. My brother was born on the 14th. And I could see wow. my child on the 14th. Wow, well, the 14th is a big I'm Okay. <laughs> debuting 2014, yeah. so. Well, that's awesome. I was looking at your art, and you have a different style uh, from one to the other. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, Just whatever. I just, just really. Like, was that, what did you call that one that's framed down here? Watermarked? Oh, we're all a little mad here. Is that what it is? With the Joker? Yes. Yeah, it's just whatever I feel in the mood for, whatever, you know, just whatever I want to paint for the most part. I do, I kind of keep it balanced. I'll do half for my clientele. They'll come to me with portraits and custom tattoo ideas. And the other half, which you see below, is just totally what I want to do, what I think would look good on a shirt or something like that, some kind of urban art that's going to sell on the market. So you do tattoo designs. Tell us about that. That seems interesting. Well, yeah, as any artist, you're going to have people come to you and be like, okay, I have this idea and I want you to make it happen. Mm -hmm. So you work yeah. with them and you go back and you make it come alive. And so it's, that's quite a medium. Now you're using the human body. Mm -hmm. so well, that we're to not me giving is, the tattoos. No, 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 I know, but, <laughs> but you're having to design it with, with the art of tattooing in mind. In other words, the limitations are whatever the tattoo artist. Are there any upcoming yeah. events that, that you guys will be displaying your work at? That I currently have all my work displayed at the R Coffee House, so if anybody would like to go oh, check that out, it's being Bitty. displayed for the yeah. next month there. Riverside. Or yes. by your new place. I'll have to step up and get a cup of coffee and check it out. Yes. Or just right down the street from there. That's awesome. Yeah, see, the um, art I know is real expensive. He's wrecked like three cars and burnt down a house. <laughs> 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 
Um, I usually set up, I, I like to go to conventions and, and be part of the artist alley at conventions, mm -hmm. like uh, comic book conventions and uh, Anime Fest Wichita and Steampunk oh, okay. and Ren Fest and kind of that group. I like the, the Are all side. your students going to be so excited that you're on <laughs> they TV? Do, They're going to they, treat you like you're famous. <laughs> like, can I have your uh, autograph? They love running into me. At, like at the Renaissance Festival, I'll tell them, I'll say, hey, I'm going to be at the Ren Fair this weekend. Are you guys coming? And, you know, if they, oh, yeah, I'll be there. And if they see me there, they're always really excited. So that's kind of fun. Yeah, I would imagine, yeah. <laughs> you know, I always say support your local artist, okay? But is there anything that you can say to, like, the public to support you? I mean, like, what do you, what do you what's your inspiration? Like, what brings you to art? Because, I mean, there, there are so it's, many artists out know, there. I don't know. It's, it's for me. It's the negative inspires me because sometimes you know when I get negative feedback, it does. It fuels the fire and it pushes me. And then sometimes the positive feedback. So it's just, it kind of has to be a passion of your own to really go for it. Your art's real light and like pretty, you know. So I don't. I mean, I guess negative feedback produces nice, pretty, positive results. I don't know. I think the colors are kind of bold. But yeah, I think you're. It's always up for interpretation. We know your style, so okay. You know, maybe what's pretty to you is more. Everything's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> the one you have of the man down there. Mm -hmm. What is that one called? I just call him Mustache Man. Mustache Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the guy with kind the, uh, the razor on the side of yeah. his head. Yeah. yeah. First, was first he was Mr. Handsome. Then he turned into just Mustache Man, Ooh, as I kind of tossed him. Nice. But why would that be? As, as you were doing it? Well, vision I kinda... was doing a painting for the Candle Club, and they talked to me, and they said they wanted some kind of smoky saloon feel. You know, and if you've been to the Candle Club, it's yeah, a nice yeah. place to hang. Now, was this back. to replace the missing one, the one that was vanished, or did it come back? Vanished. Okay, the Cattle Club had a huge controversy. We'll let it go. No, well, I would I like to thank you, Addie, for coming today and, and, and explaining to us how it unfolds to draw a portrait and share your art with us. And, Crystal, I really appreciate you coming out today, oh, too. thank you very much. Sharing our, your art with us. And, of course, we'll put up information for you guys to be able to contact them and uh, maybe get some of their art. So Very good. We'll be back with lots more artists. Real people. real people, real life. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs>the king of buy here pay here bad credit no credit no problem the king specializes in getting you in the ride you want no matter the credit score credit king doing it better all the time with the largest selection to choose from in all price ranges at one location the king's corner 31st street south and broadway kansas biggest buy here pay here go creditking.com at trailer town we're all about selection service and safety trailer town selection hundreds to choose from small to large Lightweight aluminum to heavy-duty steel. All types, new and used. Trailer Town Service, the best in the Midwest, from wiring to axle repair. Trailer Town Safety, yes, we do Department of Transportation Inspections. Trailer Town, trusted, family-owned. 301 West 53rd Street North. Knapp Weaponry is the home of Wichita's newest indoor temperature-controlled shooting range. Mention this ad for two-for-one pricing weekdays from noon to four. Knapp Weaponry is an NRA Business Alliance member that offers NRA and state-certified instruction classes, training, and women's unarmed self-defense classes. We buy and sell new and used guns and offer gunsmith services. Knapp Weaponry offers a free range session with the purchase of a new gun. We also offer transfer services and an array of ammo. Knapp Weaponry, the West Side's best kept secret. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open until 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. 
ham and liquor. Home of the coldest beer in town and lowest prices store-wide wants to remind you of very important savings days. Wine day. Tuesdays get 20% off. Beer day. Wednesdays get 10% off. Microbrews and imports. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday. Ham and liquor. West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Welcome back once again, Real People, Real Life. And I was gone for a second doing Spring some break. doing some Real People, Real Life <laughs> stuff. Okay, and we're still going to keep the artist vibe Yay. going. Here we go. Okay, again, more awesome yeah. Wichita artists. Okay, so right here next to me is the one and only Princess Pal. I like the nickname Princess Shishi. Okay, mm-hmm. I just had to say it. And, and then right next to you, we have Jessica Renee Vega. Mm-hmm. Correct? Yes. yes. Okay. Tell me, tell me, tell me, do, because I'm so excited about this. Again, celebrate Wichita local <sighs> artists. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, yes. tis the season. Let's rock well, Celebrate is actually. Start, a- yeah, well, could you first start with the, the Pink Circus? Because is that where you go with celebrating? Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Um, no, actually, the Pink Circus, that's a really good place to start. Um, this summer, I came down from Kansas City with my daughter, who was eight at the time. She just had a birthday. Yay. Um, and uh, we were spreading energy awareness with hula hoops and through um, artwork and physical oh, performing wow. arts. Okay. Yeah. I love and that. Um, I met with local artists and we put on uh, what we coined the Pink Circus to spread energy about the color pink. Uh-huh. Um, and um, we spent, oh my gosh, about six weeks on that project meeting different people here in town. Uh-huh. And through that course, I discovered. Um, uh, for lack of a better word, vibration or energy, mm-hmm. and how important um, our thoughts are uh, in creating our world around us. I agree. And um, I had, for lack of a better term, I guess, bad vibrations or bad thought processes and was creating not necessarily uh, the best time for myself. And when I was uh, aware of how to change my perception and affect mm-hmm. these things, I thought it was important to share. Um, And when we came down here, we were using the Pink Circus as a format to do that. Mm -hmm. And I realized during that process that art and expressing your soul gift is Mm -hmm. one of the best ways to um, nurture your body and to align your energies and to change that focus. Um, A lot of people, though, uh, I don't know if you know this or not, if you hear the term, no, you can't, you have to hear 17 times, yes, you can, to Mm -hmm. cancel or to... That one time. Yes. Yeah, I, you know, it used to be eight times. Did you know that? Oh, no. Well, I, 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 I hope I it's not that many. I 17 but. now. I can believe 17. Yeah. Well, I can yeah. believe 17 now. I, but I'm not kidding. Back in the late 80s, that we used to say, okay, um, late 80s, early 90s, for every time that you hear or somebody tells you you can't, or okay, no, or no it, back then it was a minimum of eight times. So as as things have progressed since the late eighties or nineties, it takes more it positive does. push. Negative energy. Yes, it really does, yeah. and it and, and it sometimes um, has to come from another source. That kind of backfired with me. My eight year old daughter at the time, um, and I had these hula hoops, and I was the girl in high school that could never hold up the hula hoop. Yeah, I ran laps instead. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, my daughter, whom I've taught this lesson to several times, yeah. uh, looked at me and said, "Go ahead, mom, try again." I said, "No, I can't do this." And she looked at me and said, "Yes, you can." Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And started her counting. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so I said, fine, give me that hoop. And mm. I did it. <laughs> yes. Um, and that's when I realized anyone can sing, anyone can dance, anyone can write. Everybody's, can anyone anyone can everybody's create. got a little bit of an artist in them. And yeah, so yes. at the Pink Circus, what will we find? The Pink Circus has now evolved into an interactive variety live art show. So for an hour to an hour and a half, you can see yeah. anything from live musicians like you okay. had showcased here. Yeah. Um, you can see mimes, clowns, hula hoopers, I really want to do this. How much does like an hour, an hour and a half run? Um, for the Pink Circus? Mm-hmm. It's free. It's, well, actually, we're getting ready to, uh, the second portion is an interactive um, art. I haven't even told you the best part. Okay. After oh. you get to see the performer, the next person or group of people that come out are our live models. They'll be wearing mm-hmm. pieces designed by local artists. Right on. Jewelry designed by local right artists. Right on. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to encourage the audience to pick up their pencil and their... Oh, draw. And they're I going need to, to be... Do a yes. Right. 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 yes, please. I need yes. to but do, it's I free need to, to go to the Pink Circus. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Okay, Usually. but I... Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to do a fundraiser for um, veterans. Okay, and these okay. Are, most of these are our younger Afghanistan folks, and they've already asked me to please put together some sort of a fundraiser. Well, I want to work with you there. on yes. that. We, we, yes, it's all okay, about positive totally energy. Awesome. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. it has a huge draw. Because, 
okay. artists yeah. and art. It's it's so much fun. So too. healing, yeah. You draw that energy. Exactly. Yes, exactly. 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 Oh, I'm so loving you. Okay, <laughs> now keep going, keep going. What else? Well, uh, I'd like to well, ask it, you about the Thom Gallery. Uh huh. And and it's actually the nickname that we've we've chosen is Tom. It stands for the House of Muse, so it does have an H, but we've nicknamed him just Tom, like a yeah. gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm going to let Jessica talk about a little bit about the Tom Gallery. The okay. Tom Gallery is the house of the Pink Circus, so I had to find a place. Um, I had originally planned on going to Colorado, and it's weird how the universe has different things I know, in right? mind for you. Yeah, I true. set out in my uh, journey and my roots planted here in Wichita, so with Tom Gallery. All right. Tell me, honey. Well, Tom Gallery is a collaboration between creative arts and healing arts put together. Uh -huh. The creative arts will be kind of lower section of the house, and then the healing arts will be the higher section of the house. Okay. Okay. And now, where is it going to be located? Now, this actually opens the first of the year. Is that right? Mm -hmm. January 1st. January 1st is when the Tom Gallery mm -hmm. opens, right? That's okay. when we move in. That's when you move Where in. Where can they currently find you guys? <laughs> Online right now. Uh, okay. TomGallery.com. Yeah. T-H-O-M Gallery.com. And that's the House of Muse. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. And uh, we had a little, we had another place. Um, and so uh, things kind of fell through to land in a bigger, more beautiful pond for us. Of course. Um, yes. And so. Uh, that universe. Yeah. yeah. We've been, yeah. We've been <laughs> temporarily energy. using Flow Foundry um, as a studio to hold some of our artwork. But actually, this week, you'll be able to find some down at Karma Connections. Yep. Okay. Yep. Very Yay. Nice. We just figured this one out. We are. Yeah. We're going to take yeah. some of our pieces down there for temporary okay. housing since our, our home will open until the first. Um, we have a really unique setup. Um, uh, Final Fridays is already an event that's being um, held here in, in Wichita. Yeah. Of course. And we've mm -hmm. booked our first Final Friday for January, the right. second one tentatively, and also March. So, wow, yes. Great. Now, you brought a piece of your work with us. Yes. Or with you today. That mm -hmm. Can you describe what we have, what we're looking at? Oh, that is a self-portrait. It was not intended to be a self-portrait. It just kind of happened that way. That and universe <laughs> yeah. has a different plan. And like at first, I thought I was just making a making a good composition of a painting, and it ended up meaning more to me. And I ended up learning about myself through it. Oh, very good. Yeah. You, you have a beautiful aura. Yeah, you well, do. Thank you. You know that you do. Thank you. It's interesting wow. you use the word aura. Yeah. We can discuss this more later, I guess. But uh, that's more. That it's no. I, I'm actually. I'm really glad it came up. A muse yeah. to me yeah. is anybody that inspires and raises the vibration of humanity. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And um, to me, uh, healing is uh, able to be done through raising vibrations. Mm -hmm. But the only way that we can heal the world around us is through um, healing ourselves inside. The Very world true. Uh, being in a fifth dimensional fractal for a different <laughs> outlook of From things, it, yeah. yes. Yeah. Meaning that um, the world around us reflects our inner emotions, our inner feelings. Mm -hmm. And so the better we feel about ourselves, or like she said, mm -hmm. self-awareness mm -hmm. through her painting. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel that those are these things that, that, that Tom Gallery and these soul gifts bring out. Um, we're gonna have interactive workshops where people can come oh, in and I learn how to paint. Mm -hmm. If you're an artist and um, you don't have the time or space in your own house to dedicate to your gifts, you we have oh, studio Tom hours for as low as five dollars an hour. So I know. Cool. <laughs> Can you tell me about the Tom card? What is that? Yeah, what's that? Yeah. Um, the Tom card is a prototype. I know it's not the actual Tom card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's, I'll, I'll pass it around, but please be gentle. Oh, very nice. <laughs> yes. Fine. Right. No, yeah, the Tom card. Um, Tom it's is a uh, planning on expanding nationwide. We like to open our Kansas City yeah. location next fall. Um, with a bed and breakfast style room on location, people will be able mm -hmm. to travel from out of town and, and immerse themselves completely in the Wichita art scene. They can really take some of our classes. This. They can wake up and have a chakra meditation balancing class mm -hmm. on the second mm -hmm. story and mm -hmm. then take a personal um, drawing session mm -hmm. with Jessica. Um, and uh, the Tom card itself is uh, a way to keep a company that may be considered corporate more local. We mm -hmm. have shop local, buy local, and sell local values. Exactly. And the Tom card, which is membership to our gallery, mm -hmm. has um, amazing perks uh, such as co-pays to the performing arts teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, what okay. we can't offer in our building uh -huh. for space-wise, for instance, um, Glow Foundry is one of our partners. Uh -huh. And if you're a member and you have a Tom card, then you just have a $5 copay to all of the classes that she oh. offers. Mm -hmm. That's so we would awesome. for, yes. for super, super cheap. Very so affordable. we would like to take this time to also ask, um, we're looking for uh, partnerships with local businesses for discounts as well as um, different well, classes that they may be offering. Well, connections, Absolutely. 
Karma Connections is, yeah. a, is a partner We're of Tom. That. We're in on that. Yes. And um, yeah. some of the benefits, of course, you'll get an untapped market. We mm-hmm. uh, tend to um, attract a lot of the... Um, Let me give you an example. I was a stay-at-home mom with three children that um, shopped for my art at, like, Michael's or, like, Walmart. (laughs) You know, we didn't realize that you could get one of a kind uh, pieces of art that inspire and that have Mm -hmm. vibration, for Mm -hmm. lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. uh, for such a nominal price, uh, we we kind of thought it was an untouchable thing, mm-hmm. like right. um, a lot museums of do. and stuff. They think right. it's just so outrageous, but it's really not. It's affordable, and it, you know, one really great piece of art can set a, a mood for a whole room. I mean, in my living room, which is my one of my my safe havens, obviously, you know, in addition to the candles and the incense and the Himalayan lamps yeah. and oh, the just my my groove going on, right? Yeah. I have two of the most beautiful. Uh, hand painted oil uh, paintings that are just so beautiful. Okay, and then and then they both have the natural wood frame. Uh, okay, that yes. was made by a, a, a craftsman, separate from the guy that actually done the artwork. And you just can't. Ha- I mean, I cannot tell you yeah. what having you know a, a, a painting the right what, piece the right pieces. I mean, you can't help but walk in there and just be like. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, it's true. It's yeah. true. You walk in, you're like, yeah. I'm staying. And then my bedroom, I, I know everybody sees this, you know, but we did. We took on um, those crates, pallets, okay, and didn't do anything to them, just kind of, you know, weighed them and then stuck them up there and took all these pictures my my dogs my oh. grandkid my family you know and they're just all over on this crate. How cute. and it's just cool weird stuff like that so yeah. what you guys are bringing to wichita i cannot thank you enough yes <laughs> seriously this is so amazing thank you thank you thank you um we're gonna have to get the information out on how everybody can find Absolutely. you and we will um but don't go away. I know you're getting get really big. I already know that. <laughs> and you know. can see some of your work real soon in Karma Connections, yes. right? Amen. Yes. We're going to so. give you a little respite until you guys can get open the first of the year or so. You know, starting this weekend, you know, we definitely want to let your friends know. And I want to get with you two on a party with the Pink Circus. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Right on. <laughs> real people, real life. We'll see you next week. The views expressed in the preceding program do not necessarily represent the views of this station or its management. At Trailer Town, we're all about selection, service, and safety. Trailer Town selection, hundreds to choose from, small to large, lightweight aluminum to heavy-duty steel, all types, new and used. Trailer Town service, the best in the Midwest, from wiring to axle repair. Trailer Town safety, yes, we do Department of Transportation inspections. Trailer Town. Trusted, family owned, 301 West 53rd Street, North. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and lowest prices store-wide, wants to remind you of very important savings days. Wine Day, Tuesdays get 20% off. Beer Day, Wednesdays get 10% off. Microbrews and imports. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday. Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. At Economy Motors, we know that everything costs more these days. Gas costs more, utilities cost more, groceries cost more. But what's one thing that will not cost you more? Buying your next vehicle with us. Everything we have is priced $12,995 or under. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. No crazy gimmicks and no bait and switch. We keep it real. Economy Motors, home of easy pay. We've got your back. Knapp Weaponry is the home of Wichita's newest indoor temperature-controlled shooting range. Mention this ad for -for two-for-one pricing weekdays from noon to four. Knapp Weaponry is an NRA Business Alliance member that offers NRA and state-certified instruction classes, training, and women's unarmed self-defense classes. We buy and sell new and used guns and offer gunsmith services. Knapp Weaponry offers a free-range session with the purchase of a new gun. We also offer transfer services and an array of ammo. Knapp Weaponry, the West Side's best-kept secret. Sal's Japanese Steakhouse, 6829 East Kellogg Drive. A Wichita tradition for awesome dining and always a great time. Enjoy our Monday to Thursday specials, including half-priced chicken and shrimp dinners. Sal's is open seven days a week. Come in, relax, and let us give you the treat of fine dining and good fun in a beautiful atmosphere. From our family to yours, Sal's Japanese Steakhouse, 6829 East Kellogg, Wichita, Kansas.